In this video, we got a gameplay on the new free all-time Dark Matter Spotlight card, Rudy Tom Tomojanovic. You guys know I suck with names, but yeah, he's going to be the new all-time Dark Matter for today. I'm just going to call him Rudy. He's a 6'8 shooting guard, so actually a pretty good height for that shooting guard position. Very similar to Steven Jackson, who is 6'8 also from this all-time Spotlight set. But yeah, really well-rounded stats. For Rudy, he's got a 95 three ball, 97 mid range, 85 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk, you know, 86 block, 92 steal, 92 perimeter, 90 interior defense. Nothing crazy when it comes to this card's stats, but just well rounded enough that I think he's got a good, good enough stats that his animations will really will really make up for it but to take a look at his badges he does have 40 on hall of fame so it is nice to see that he's got 40 hoff badges and 16 on gold so really good there for rudy um and yeah i, I want to test him out in, i want to test him on a freestyle to try out those animations because like i said that's probably easily the best thing about this uh dark matter rudy card is his animations because if we take a look what am I clicking? Because if we take a look at his jump shot, he's got the exact same release as Wes Unseld, where it's going to be that Kobe base and that John Collins upper. And I really like Wes Unseld's jump shot. If you guys tried out his Rush Dark Matter, I think it's a really good release. It's easy to time. It's quick enough where it's not a slow jump shot. It's definitely not some like crazy fast overpowered release, but I think it's fast enough where you can definitely get it off in time. And then it's also super easy to time with. So a great jump shot for this free Dark Matter Rudy. And then also dribble six wise, he's got the Garland size up, which is one of the best size ups in my opinion. And also that John Wall escape. So this card's going to move really well. He's got a great jump shot. Should be decent at going to the rim. Um, he's also got that normal fade. I'm not sure if he'll be the best rim, rim runner in the world, but still, I think he'll be a great offensive shooting guard. Once again, he's six foot eight, so a very good height for that shooting guard position. But now let's go green one more three, and let's get on to the free Dark Matter Rudy gameplay. Into the clutch time online game here with the free Dark Matter Rudy. My opponent does have a very good squad. He's got invincible Kobe Bryant at the shooting guard spot, so should be a good test you know, for Rudy to see what he can do against Kobe Bryant, who is still one of the better point guards in the game. And we're going to force a shot clock violation there on the first possession. But yeah, my opponent's got Invincible Shaq, Invincible Ver uh, Bird, Kobe, Magic. Like, he's got almost an Invincible team. Or, yeah, he's, he's got Nikola Jokic, who is pretty much an Invincible in himself with 55 Hall of Fame badges. But looking to go around that screen, trying to find Rudy here, driving to the paint, and we almost get the ball stolen. Got to bring it back out. Only got five seconds on the clock. Can we knock down that normal fade? Rudy, Tomo, you... Oh, 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 oh my God, I cannot pronounce this dude's name. Rudy... Tom Ojanovic. I don't know. I cannot say his name, man. It is really pissing me off that I cannot pronounce his name. Anyways, but yeah, looking to go around that screen, trying to find him driving to the paint. And oh, he was about to go dunk it on Shaq as we are going to miss that dunk, man. I can just not pronounce this dude's name. How do we not get that steal as we're going to leave Larry Bird left wide open and my opponent going to tie up the ball game. So yeah, I'm just going to call him Rudy, man, because for some reason, I cannot pronounce his last name, but trying to go around that screen, trying to create some space, going to look to find, oh my God, good pass inside to Brooke Lopez, but we're going to get the ball almost, oh, we almost stole the ball there. He's going to pull up a Kobe on the break and kind of falling apart on the defensive end, just giving up way too many wide open threes. Got to look, got to play slower. I feel like I'm rushing a lot on offense. Just got to look to play slower, you know, take the shot I want, trying to drive into the paint. Rudy going all the way and we're going to make that contested layup. That was a very tough finish there for Dark Matter Rudy, able to get to the basket and finish around Nikola Jokic. I mean, this card feels great offensively. That's the one thing I will say. Good defense on Kobe, able to get a great contest. Trying to find Rudy out there running in transition, looking to take him off the dribble, trying to create some space. Can we get that screen? Gonna look to attack inside. Got him up in the air and a great take there. Able to draw two free throws at the line. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this free Dark Matter Rudy? Do you guys think he's gonna be one of the best all-time Dark Matters? I would say for sure is like a top 10 all-time dark matter in the game probably even top five like you got james worthy bob netalecki jack sigma that are all amazing for the all-time dark matter set you know from the spotlights but then after that i mean steven jackson's really good you also got cards like uh, brad daughtery you got some really good cards even like danny manning is really good so there is a lot of good all-time dark matters but i think this rudy card is going to be right up there is look at him going to the paint able to throw it down the card actually feels not that bad at going to the rim, able to attack that paint strong. As look at us almost getting that steal, and he's gonna go all the way with Kobe. I will say defensively, I mean he's tall enough, so he'll be a, he'll be a decent defender. 
just because of the size but he doesn't really feel to be you know too great as a defensive card as we're trying to pull up there can't knock it down but look at Jokic on the boards trying to get back here in the pick and roll looking to go around that screen gonna slash to the paint and throwing it down okay yeah so going to the rim this card actually feels you know pretty solid the only thing I'm noticing that he isn't like amazing at is his defense everything else I would say he's actually like really good at is look at my opponent knocking down that four point shot to give him that one point lead but so far in the pick and roll he's been really good at setting to uh, setting the screen and either rolling to the basket or popping you know to the three point line trying to create some space we got a wide open brook lopez and we're able to knock it down great pass there from rudy he's now got 11 points and one assist on the ball game so just being really effective you know offensively able to play make you know find wide open shooters and just score the ball at a very high level whether it's three balls whether it's driving to the basket a pretty good offensive start here in the clutch time game got to get back here in the pick and roll though got to make sure we win this ball game looking to go around that screen got some space here in that right side wing and we can't knock it down got to be able to green that shot got some space here fading with rudy and we're gonna miss again come on evan man like those are such easy shots to green and i'm just not making them right now but look at brooke lopez almost getting that steal got to get back here to invincible shack he's gonna throw it back out to bird we're here look at rudy flying across the flying across the court and almost getting that steal but that is a shot i just gotta hit man that is a shot that you just can't miss like two in a row why did i leave kobe wide open but yeah those are sh those are shots i just gotta be able to knock down i mean this release is really good too that's the thing if it was a bad jump shot i can understand but it's actually okay is he just gonna help off really man he just doesn't want me to score the ball through rudy i guess he'll take my easy assist you know pass it to mj in the corner we now got 11 points and to assist on the ball game but yeah just gotta knock down those threes i mean the first one wide open second one wide open like those are just such easy shots to hit i just can't believe i missed that but yeah we're gonna leave kobe open once again he's gonna miss trying to find rudy out there running in transition can we attack kobe strong and good defense from kobe bryant there almost got that layup to go i thought we we're gonna be able to finish at the rim and get a dunk or some crazy animation but like I said, really good defense there from Kobe, but trying to get back here in the pick and roll, looking to find him driving to the paint as we're almost going to get the ball stolen. Got to slow it down. What is going on right now? And we're going to get the ball stolen. I don't even know what happened on that possession. Only up by two, man. 26 seconds left. Only up by two. Get the bird. Why is bird left wide open? And my opponent's going to choke. He's going to miss that three. Come on. I got to hit the dagger, man. We got to hit the dagger. Get me in that pick and roll. He's going to foul us. I think that was the CPU foul. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the gameplay. I mean, not bad from Rudy. Honestly, played pretty solid. Just a couple shots there. I got to green. If we green those, I mean, I, th I think he plays a lot better. Like, he played very solid. Still got maybe a chance for, like, one more offensive possession. But yeah, if we make those one or two threes at the end, I feel like we play a lot better. But trying to play good defense. Okay, I think he's going to foul. I don't really care about actually winning the game. But yeah, 11 points, two assists. Could have shot a lot better. Definitely on me for missing those two wide open threes. So probably should have shot, like, three or four. Or at least just a little bit better from the three-point line but yeah great six foot each a great six foot eight shooting guard able to do it all on the court drive to the basket has a good release and a very solid defender but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the free dark matter rudy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace